And you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene Conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Outman! Kunaman, mad! He kill all white legs! You talk! You stop! You can no nikumpa me! They are you! Forward! It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough, and there is much to do. And so it was that the conflict between the New Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs diminished numbers reached the Eighties tribe, war was declared, and by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the Dead Horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the Courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Zion, but it was a small comfort. The Sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribes' conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50 and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chalk took the courier's words to heart and decided the big cities of the Mojave Wasteland and NCR were best left unexplored. Though he sometimes dreamed of distant lands, he continued to support his family at Dead Horse Point, and eventually his wanderlust faded. Waking Cloud turned bitter and resentful toward Daniel and the new Canaanites, when she learned her husband's death had been concealed from her. She poisoned some of her tribe against new Canaanite teachings, making relations between the groups difficult from time to time. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle.
the white legs defeated at three marys joshua led the sorrows and dead horses intending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes he continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of new canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought and yet he was changed he no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life his inner demons if not extinguished or at the least appeased for years after the defeat of the white legs daniel did his best to minister to the sorrows spiritual needs try as he might he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of joshua graham demoralized he returned to his family and dead horse point his failures haunted him for the rest of his days and with that the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland.